what's going on health aid family it's your boy flip today we're talking about the three most common types of coil orientations and we're going to go over all the pros and cons that all these coil orientations might have so just a heads up not all these are going to be health aid products but we do want to go over all these just in case you're a beginning vapor and you might see a setup that you're not used to so we're going to start off with the Vodafone Profile RDA. The Vodafone Profile Mesh RDA came in and changed the vape world with its innovative technology of this little spring-loaded contraption that pushes your cotton up into the coil. There have been mesh coils out there before, but none of them quite performed as well as the Vodafone Profile Mesh did. The Wodafoe Profile, made by Wodafoe and Mr. Just Right One, has side airflow that comes in directly over the coil. As you can see, your mesh coil will sit right in the middle. The cotton will sit right under that mesh coil in the innovative spring-loaded technology thingy they got going on in there. And it's going to sit right down in here in your juice walls. Now, the great thing about mesh coils are that you're going to get a ton of flavor and a ton of vapor. And since it's a mesh coil, they burn at really low temperatures. So you're not going to have to use very high wattage for this. But... It does heat up extremely fast and goes through vape juice extremely fast, which means there is a danger of dry hitting. And when you do dry hit a mesh coil, it's not nice. It's just not. Dry hitting is not a fun time for anybody. Let's be honest. So the pros and cons of the Vodafone Profile RDA. Pros, it has extremely great vapor production. It has extremely great flavor and it vapes at low wattages. And the cons are that since it takes so much cotton, it dries out a little bit quicker. And since it heats up so much faster, the probability of you getting a dry hit if you don't stay on top of it are pretty much inevitable. Moving right along, next we have the Vandy Vape Mutant RDA. It's a collaboration between Vaping with Twisted 420 and Vandy Vape. And this thing is actually pretty innovative. It uses a vertical coil setup and it does come with a squonking pin if you want to squonk it. You're going to put your cotton vertically through the coils and have your excess sitting along the bottom where the juice chamber is. Unfortunately, this does kind of cut back on the amount of juice chamber you have, but it can be set up for squonking, so you might not have to worry about that. Something really cool they did do is they added four different airflow options, so you can choose between almost any airflow option you want. But the downside is that since it's a vertical coil, all your vapor production is going outwards. So it's really not the best for flavor. But on the plus side, you're never gonna get any spit back like you might with a horizontal coil RDA. So the pros and cons of the Bandy Vape and Twisted Mutant RDA. Pros, you're not gonna get any spit back. You're gonna have a lot of different airflow options. The coils are kind of easy to install, but the cotton isn't. So let's move on to the cons. Cotton's not super easy to install, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. And another con is you're not going to get that great flavor production because all the vapor is going out to the sides before traveling up into your mouth. And finally, last but not least, from us and our great friend Heathen, the Dead Rabbit version 2 Perfectus. As you can see, the Dead Rabbit uses a horizontal coil setup, which means you're going to get all that great flavor. We have two different airflow options, honeycomb and cyclops. So you can really cater your airflow to exactly what you want it to be. And the coil posts sit up nice and high so you have plenty of room underneath to cut your coils to make sure they're exactly the right length. You're gonna have all that great flavor, a nice deep juice well to keep your juice in so you're not re-wicking it all the time. And very easy to install cotton that just sits right into that very nice deep juice well. On the con side of horizontal coils, you might get a little spit back, especially if you over juice your coils. That's pretty much the only downside to horizontal coils, I think. So the pros and cons of the Dead Rabbit V2 Perfectus, easy to install coil posts, making sure you always get the exact right height for your coils. Great flavor due to the horizontal orientation of the coils. Multiple airflow options to make sure you can cater your airflow to exactly how you want it to be. A nice deep juice well so you don't have to constantly be re-wicking your coils. And the con would be that you might get possible spitback if you overjuice your coil. I'd love to know what everyone's using in the comments. Let me know if you're using a mesh coil, a vertical coil, or a standard horizontal coil. We hope everyone enjoyed today's video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Almost forgot to say that. <laughs>